My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Another rainy day in Volskar. Well, we've had our celebration. Ingvar has been destroyed. And things are starting to return to normal in Falskar. It's been about a week. Amran has been here in the house for the most part recuperating from his injuries. A concussion. Some cracked ribs. And a sprained ankle. The fighting was quite fierce. During that time... I've had some books shipped here from the College of Winterhold, some spell tomes, so that I could increase and learn more about magic. I felt this was the perfect time to expand my knowledge. So, during the time, sent out feelers about this crystal fragment business and the necromancers because they're still out there. We've been fortunate, though, to find three of the fragments and only one remains. There seems to be a pattern, though. Strange animal behavior seems to predict where the necromancers are hiding. And we've been given a tip from a young boy, I'm told, has seen something strange. Now that Amran is up to it, I think it's time we investigate. I also failed to mention that I was able to track down the bandits that abducted Amran and took his armor, and we were able to get back his things. He's now using gold brand, and decided to stick with the newer armor that I've created, because it's actually better than what was stolen. <laughs> All right, Amran, now that you're feeling better, let's go check out this lead. Right, here we are at the Falskar docks. And that must be the young man that I've been told about. Galen. What do you want? <laughs> What's it like growing up on the coast? It's not so bad. I usually have plenty to do. Though, I wish there were more sometimes. My dad says I can't go into the forest alone because it's full of bad men who try to hurt me. And some farther parts no, of the coast are full that. of nasty creatures. But I find some places to play. What? Shouldn't you be out playing on the beach then? I should be, but my dad won't let me play in the forest because of all the bandits. And yes. I can't play on the beach because of the mud crabs. Really? Normally I just throw rocks at them until they leave. But lately, they've been much bigger than normal. Hey, if you got them all to leave, I could play on the beach again. You don't have to, but it sure would be nice. Then I wouldn't have to sit around here all day. It's just west of here, near Sandy Shell Hollow. All right. 
And I'm just curious, young man, have you ever seen a dragon? A dragon? No. But if I ever do, I'll fight him and show him how tough I am. I wish they were real. That'd be so cool. <laughs> if only they weren't. All right. Watch out for those mud crabs. Yes, enjoy your day. And Amran, I know you're glad to be back on your feet, but really, let them do the sweeping. All right. Mud crabs, let's see. Looks like we're headed off in this direction. Not unless you want to stay here and continue sweeping. Yes, I thought so. Come on. to use this new thundercrack spell. It's actually something I picked up here in Falscar. And I've updated Akato's recital with a new cloaking spell. We'll see how that works out. So, this is the strange animal behavior that I was looking for. Larger than normal mud crabs, I wonder how that came to be. I don't know if I killed it or not. Is this thunder crack really what it's... Cracked up to be. I think it's destroying them. Amran. Feel free to attack them. All right, seems to be working. Thunder crack. <laughs> I have to be so close. There. We've done it. All right. So we can go tell the young man that the beach is cleared, or we can look for the source of these creatures. I say we look for the source first, and then we can report back. Come on, let's look up this way. Don't go stopping for a nap. If you fall asleep in this place, there's a cave here. Think we should check it out? Yes. Indeed, I do. All right, I need something longer range. This is an improvement on my vampire frost cloak. Let's see how this works. Oh. What? These crabs are everywhere. Right. The cloak is activated. It's a magic cloak. <laughs> I must say that I'm quite thankful for the professors at the college for sending me the crate of spell tome so that I can study while I'm, shall we call it, abroad. 
All right. This looks like the way in. Alright, so now Amra and I can honor our deal that I will use Magicka. Now that I am better equipped. Excellent. Excellent, this Frost Spell. Far more effective. Calvin, I don't want to freeze you into crystals. Are you sure you can find your way? Are you sure you can follow me? This is the type of spell I've seen most mages and vampires using. I was crippling myself with these other spells. Appears to be someone over there. And someone has seen us. Hmm, I see you two can play this game. Absorption again. Unfortunately, for these necromancers, I'm both a Nord and a vampire, which makes my frost exist resistance extremely potent. I'm sorry, Amran. I'm just gloating to myself. In times like this, I truly appreciate the joys of a warm fire and a stiff drink. Speaking of drinking, it's been a while since I've fed. Amran. All right, that's it. Shake it off. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Doing? I, it's my. Why don't you stay back? 
All right. This isn't supposed to affect you. All right. This is going a lot better than when I was using novice and apprentice spells. Stay back, Amran. All right, so I blew the crystal off its pedestal, but here it is. God willing, we'll find a chest full of gold in one of its chambers. All right, we have all of them. Let's make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Much better. Much better. There, finally. I'm satisfied. All right, there's a chest here, too. And some reading material. Our latest trials have proven far more bountiful than the earlier ones. Vernon assures us that we are close to our goal. We must keep going. Sandy's shell has proven to be an invaluable location for trying to unveil the magics in the crystal fragment. It is out of the way, far from anyone who would certainly judge us. The earliest tests let forth a powerful burst of magic, sprouting life throughout the cave. The odd part was that the life did not match that of the forest around us. Perhaps the magic that flows through the land of Foul Scar affects or interferes with the crystal's own magic. Luckily, our latest trial has proven useful. We have been able to direct the magic into the local mud crab population, increasing their size and ferocity. This has proven useful and will have many applications. However, we have also stumbled upon the ability to control the mud crab's will to a limited extent. For example, we can control to the point that they will not attack us. No doubt the two phenomena are related, perhaps hinting at the crystal's original intent. All right, Amran, I hope you enjoyed that little tale. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I didn't think we would ever collect all of these crystal fragments. I mean, it's taken weeks, months, I don't know. I've lost count. We've been here for so long. But finally... It's done. All right, we still have daylight.
Let's get back and let the young man know that it's safe for him to play. Galen? Whoa! You're the special one that came through that old gateway, aren't you? <laughs> I bet Skyrim is amazing. Yes, it is. The beach is ready for adventure. Thanks. Here, it's a whole month's allowance. I'm gonna go build a huge castle. Really? That's so generous of you. But you can keep your gold. I'm just glad I could... Help. Thanks for letting me keep my money. I'm gonna go buy a sweet roll. Bye! Goodbye. And good luck. To think that I came here to Skyrim for revenge, and here I I'm am, right you. helping little boys on the beach. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, we need to go. Let's just see here. To give these fragments back to Brother Arnand. I believe he should be in the Balin Priory. Yes, let's go. Oh, you you made it. All right. Let's see where Arnand is. It's almost sunset. Let me refresh in my illusion. them all gathering around the dinner table. How nice. Brother Arnand. Hello. I found all the crystals. Great work. I hope it was not too difficult for you. <laughs> I apologize for not having Bite a way your to tongue. find them more easily. It is as I feared. They have managed to remove the incantation from the crystals. That makes these incredibly dangerous. They could only create a stable dream world when they were one solid crystal. But in fragments they have each nested a portion of raw magic. Each fragment contributed a different portion of magic. But they are unconstrained and unsheltered as fragments. We must reunite them into one solid crystal to control the magic and prevent anything bad from coming of this. While they are fragmented, I fear that the effects of the crystals may bleed out of the Daedric Plains of Oblivion and into Mundus, our world. It's a flaw that Vermina, the Daedric Prince that we think created these, may have intentionally given them, hoping that the nightmare would spread. Vernon spoke in his journal of Volkrund Keep to the north of Amber Creek. Meet me there, and we will find a way to get rid of these crystals. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Amran, I didn't figure you for the meditating type. But I guess given the beatings and the injuries that you've suffered, it's probably fitting. Okay, I think we have this one last task to do. And then we can head back May to Skyrim. May the watch over you. Thank you, Pryor. <clears throat> I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. No one can, Thorlo. No one can. <laughs> 